Like that. In Japan, Monday afternoon, and you'll see in a moment that Sally has got a new suitcase that's been delivered somewhere over there. What? It's on the bed. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's it. So I can see it now. So we've got a new suitcase that's just been delivered to pack up all our little extras in that we've accumulated since we've in. been in hospital and all our liquids that are going to the hold. Our two main suitcases, our luggage, is no longer on the ship. It's in a holding facility. So before they took the ship away for uh, going into dry dock for the deep clean, um, all the luggage was taken off. And what we have now been told is going to happen is all the bags, the cases will be sprayed and we think they're going to open the cases and spray the inside as well. Can't be 100% sure, but that's what it sounded like. And April the 1st was mentioned. Was now, April the 1st, certainly in the UK, it's uh, April's food joke. But we're not sure whether the luggage is supposed to be delivered to the UK by April the 1st or that it will be leaving Japan on April the 1st. So it's going to be a good few weeks before we see any of, uh, any of the items that we are going to be waiting on. But of course we're still here, we're in the hospital um, I was hoping that I would have had my test this morning. It never happened. It's literally just happened now, half past one. Now, that is a shame. It adds to my frustration because we don't get the result today. There's not enough time. So the result will either be tomorrow or Wednesday morning. Um, so we really are looking at seven to ten days you know, I've been saying this all along, but it really is seven to ten days before uh, we can expect to take our next step. So it's, it's good news at the end of the day. Uh, I was far less vocal, apparently, in this test. Um, not a lot, but a little. Not a lot, not a lot, she's saying, but a little. Yeah. Um, but it's now done for the day. And if everything is going to work in my favour, the next test will hopefully be the last one or next to last one. So there we go. Uh, hello from Missouri. You were trying to be a good boy. I blooming well was, yeah, really was. You know, I feel for him having to do it, but uh, yeah. Thank you for Sticks and Stones. Quite a few people have enjoyed that video, Sticks and Stones, the chakra one, yeah. Uh, negative all the way, that's what we want now, negative all the way. And someone was saying, you know, um, wash your nostrils out with a saline spray. I'm in a hospital room, can't get out to get these things. I wish I could, if it was in the UK, I'd be taking all sorts of precautions before a test <coughs> like that. But here, no, can't do it. You love the Kingfisher video? Yeah, that's from a friend of mine that's got a farm in the UK, about an hour from where I live. And just to get a really nice photograph of the Kingfisher, I sometimes have to wait five to six hours. You learn patience, you really do. Probably uh, that's got you through this. The amount of patience you yeah. that blooming hide. Yeah, I mean, I think it surprised uh, Sally, actually, just how long I devote to time-wise to photographing these little birds. Because when we were in Barbados in November, we went to look for some hummingbirds, and I found one. And once I'd seen one on a bush, you know it's going to return. But it might be an hour before it comes back. So it's a question of sitting there quietly uh, camera already, and oh, we did. So good. Uh, it was a very hard stone seat, wasn't it? Concrete bench that well, we I were sitting on. I went for a walk up. And yeah, very very hard. How was your test? No pain, just it's just not a nice feeling going up your nose and down the throat. But you know, it's all over in five ten seconds. Uh, 
having birds. Can't wait. And they are beautiful, but they are so small and they are so fast. So my kingfisher photography really helped me to get the photos of the hummingbirds without any doubt. Uh, Washington State. Yeah, we're getting close. Thank you. Your attitude's been uplifting. Thank you very much. Who think it's overblown? Anybody who thinks that the whole thing is overblown, what do you think about the death rate? You know, and the death rate is increasing. And Italy is really serious. Is it overblown? You tell me. When you're looking at people dying and the devastation to their families uh, and younger men included in the figures, not old farts like me in my 70s, you know, those in the 80s, young guys under 60 dying from it. No, that's not good. And that happened in England uh, in the last couple of days. I think it was two deaths, one guy in his 70s, but one guy in his 50s. Not good. So no, I don't think it's overblown. Uh, thank you for your blessings. How old am I? I'm just coming up 74. You love feeding the hummingbirds? Yeah, I love photographing them. How do you sit quietly for so long? Patience and having the expectation that they are going to come and that you're going to get some really good photos. Having said that, I have spent seven hours waiting for the kingfisher and there's four of them in the family, but they all have their own little fishing spots. And I've spent uh, seven hours without an appearance from a kingfisher and yeah <laughs> it's it's an hour's drive to my friend's farm but uh, anyway there we go you could be the next David Attenborough he's really good I'd love to but I don't have the resources behind me that he does could you keep blowing your nose and getting that there's nothing up there you know he said to me the doctor he said which is the clearest nostril and I said they're both absolutely clear uh, I blow and nothing comes down. So it's just remnants that are there somewhere. Uh, you had a hummingbird feed from your hand once. Oh my word, I would love that. Have you had a cough like Sally lately? Nope. She's never had a cough nope. like me. No, haven't. Her cough was, uh, well, yeah, it was a real cough. It was a Mine, real cough. I was coughing. On the ship, I was going, <coughs> and that would be it. You know, it wasn't a real cough at all. So that's why I, I really was in denial when I look back. I just didn't think I had it. Genuinely did not think I had it. And it wasn't until we came into hospital and I realized I was very, very poorly. Yeah. Uh, hummingbirds every summer in Alberta. Beautiful. Pure career, a career as a narrator. The trouble is, if I go and be employed, I'd never earn sufficient money to do what I want to do with my life. So that's why I've been self-employed uh, the majority of my lifetime. Uh, Lou Roll is sold out everywhere. Well, in Japan, it sold out first because they ran out of these very flimsy masks and they are making their own masks out of the toilet paper. And I'm not giving you a wind up. Seriously? That I didn't hear that. Can you know that? No. Oh yeah, absolutely true. It is, Look it at is me true. and tell me if they it's true. They are making their masks out of toilet paper. And how are they going to make it out of toilet paper? They just put it together and put the thingies through. They are. Oh, you honestly, that's <laughs> where you've heard that. You... It's true. You might wind everybody else up, but you don't wind it up. It is out. true. <laughs> yeah, I've just had the test, yeah, and it's negative. I'm telling you it's negative, but we won't get that confirmed until late tomorrow afternoon or Wednesday morning. It's negative. Uh, what about the wet market? Should they close? I, I can't comment on that. It looks dodgy, doesn't it? It does look dodgy. Um, yeah, don't know. Hey, David and Sally. London, Ontario. Hiya. Uh, you make me smile. You're Chicago, darling. Yeah, thank you. Did Sally lose weight? No, I think she's gained what I've lost. Bit, oh! Crisps. Not at this moment. Yes. I'm doing something at oh the God, moment. Oh, God, where are they? I'll get them. Aren't they away? Oh, my God, it's crisp time. My numbers today have been so damn low. Uh, 98 this morning. Oh, this That's
That's the Great. US numbers, God, 98. And they said, oh, we'll have to bring you lunch early. Um, so it's snack time in Japan at 3 o'clock. All over Japan, it's known, 3 p.m. snack time. So you haven't locked yourself out of it. No, I haven't. I'm just trying it. So it's definitely snack time. You, there you go. It's true. I saw a tutorial about the toilet paper masks. It is true. I'm not whining you. How much do you pay you to say that? No, it is true. Uh, and I think it was one of the nurses that said it, so. I can't understand why they say How would you know? Because I can understand Japanese. I can't speak it. Oh, you can't I understand, understand it either. Oh. She is escaping. You reckon? It, yeah, it could be, couldn't it? It could be a plan that in my sleep tonight she buggers off. Yeah. Uh, what? Hi what from Pennsylvania. Case? Love Pennsylvania. Driven through there. Lots of trees. Really great. You had to order toilet paper online in Melbourne. Could only get eight rolls. Well, that'll last a few days. Uh, Please block me. Block yourself. I think... No protection from toilet paper. People are under the impression <coughs> that people are buying toilet paper because the virus is going to make them need the toilet paper. That's not the reason at all. They're just buying the toilet paper so they've got enough toilet paper to get them through the quarantine. She's zipping up a luggage, yeah. It is. She's, she's ready to go. I'm ready to go. She's ready to go. Uh, if he doesn't hurry up... If he... Rubber bands and a stapler. Toilet paper, rubber bands, and a stapler. That's how they're making them. Really? How's Puddy's doing? Really well, thank you. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, Where's my phone? Have you been to the Oregon coast? No, we haven't. That's on the list. That uh, was our they'll night, be releasing night, us in a week. That was our night night picture last night. That was the picture last night as he goes to bed. I think he's quite comfortable. <laughs> run, Sally, run. Well, I said to the guy when he came in to do your test, didn't he? Didn't I? I said, uh, I'm getting packed up, ready to run. And <laughs> he laughed. Oregon coast is really beautiful. I'm trying to picture where Oregon is. I'll have a look on the map when we finish this. Uh, yeah, they are. They're happy little fairy babies. Uh, thank you, Sally. Yeah. You ordered toilet paper online. Yeah. No test results today. Had the test <coughs> about 20 minutes ago. Results will be either late tomorrow afternoon or Wednesday morning. Oh, okay. Oh, it really is north then. West coast, one state down from Washington. Right, okay, now I know where you are. No, uh, is California that... is the nearest that we've been, San Francisco. What about um, where um, Thingy lives? Uh... Oh. Your friend. Oregon coast, the Rocky Mountaineer doesn't go to the Oregon coast. Phil. Phil, where does he live? He lives the other side of America, Philadelphia. Oh, the other side of America. Washington. No. He drove down to you. To Washington, Washington DC. Oh, okay. Not Washington State. Okay, sorry. Cannon Beach area. Yeah, we will get over there. No, haven't been to the Cook Islands. How will flights to England work? Have you talked to any airlines? Not yet. No point until we get the all clear. I'm just getting ready. So it, this is just a preparation for it. We, um, we ordered a case and it come today. So I've now sorted out the luggage. So stuff that can be checked in and stuff that can come on the aircraft with us. Simple yep. as that. It makes everything a bit tidier. Yeah, we've been to Alaska. Uh, twice now to Alaska. Love it. Absolutely love it. Um, it's your birthday. Good on you. Happy birthday. Sally has a Uber ready. Uh, no. Be picking this up. I 
hope you're doing well. We are, thank you. Big gorgeous.